Would you rather have these for dinner or this? That's right, this is an acorn. And of course, these are steaks. Now you may prefer these, but this little fellow would much rather have the acorn. Every living creature has a need for food, but different animals like different things. What they like and how they get it make for a very interesting study. The Creator has given His creatures an almost endless variety of likes and dislikes and ways to get food in order to survive. This creature appears to have a tail on both ends. It's an anteater, a name that gives away the secret to his diet, ants and termites. Long, razor-sharp claws make less than ideal walking shoes, but they're just the tools needed for opening the lunchbox, an old tree stump loaded with termites. Digging the insects out of their narrow tunnels would be an impossible task for most animals. But again, the anteater has just the right equipment. A long, slender, sticky tongue. He traps the insects on its adhesive surface. When he pulls his tongue back into his mouth, it's coated with tasty delights. The suspenders, by the way, have nothing to do with keeping his pants up. They just happen to be the unusual markings on a very unusual animal. The strong monkey tail is equally helpful when the anteater decides to dine on a higher level. In some places, the menu is better than in others. The anteater, a remarkable animal given just the right tools to live on a pure diet of insects. For many years, man has known that rattlesnakes have a mysterious ability to hunt successfully in complete darkness. But how? You might say the rattlesnake has two sets of eyes. The organ that sees in the dark is concealed in a pit or depression on either side of the head. Dr. Raymond Coles and Dr. Theodore Bullock at the University of California at Los Angeles have contributed much to the world's knowledge of this strange phenomenon. The method used to obtain this information is unique and interesting. First, Dr. Coles milks the rattler of its venom. Then Dr. Bullock puts the reptile to sleep. The snake is actually blindfolded to cut off all visible light. Platinum electrodes are connected to the nerves in the pit organ so the scientists can intercept the signals flashed to the snake's brain. They'll be able to see and hear them as they're amplified through a speaker and recorded on a special graph. The snake is obviously excited by the presence of a human hand. Yes, it's blindfolded, but the second set of eyes lets the snake see the invisible infrared rays coming from the heat of the hand. The rattler isn't the least bit interested in an ice cube. Why? An animal that cold would be dead. 
Lighting a match in front of the reptile is like turning on a spotlight of infrared rays. A piece of heat absorbing glass cuts off the rays and the reaction stops. The pit viper, night prowler of the desert and the mountainsides, uniquely prepared by the creator to hunt and find food even on the darkest night. The ocean, a smorgasbord of microscopic plant and animal life. A number of creatures in the sea have been given special equipment to strain the water to feed on these tiny inhabitants. The barnacle, for instance. You've probably seen them covering rocks and pilings along the beach. They attach themselves permanently in one place by means of a leathery stalk called, oddly enough, a gooseneck. The main part of its body is hidden in a protective shell. When the tide rises and covers the barnacle, the shell pops open. The legs of the animal look more like feathers as they're thrust out to trap microscopic sea life. The barnacle uses its legs like a fishnet. When the legs, called Siri, are pulled back into the dining room or shell, the captured food is carried deep inside to the mouth of the creature. Another unique design by the creator for the barnacle. Ever see a fish that spits? It's called the archer fish and it has a good reason for its strange behavior. It's hunting for food. A stream of water is shot from the mouth. The force knocks the prey right onto the dining room table. The archer fish seldom misses the target. An amazing record since it has a very unusual problem called refraction. Because the fish is underwater, he sees the insect where it isn't. Accuracy is hard to come by. For a fish to make all the split-second calculations necessary to hit the target would seem almost impossible. Yet the archer fish does it again and again and again. Another creature given something special by the creator. A skill for getting food that would otherwise be completely out of its reach. The chameleon is the only animal in the world that can lasso its food more than a body's length away without moving anything but its tongue. The eyes are of unique design. A close look shows they're mounted in ball turrets. Each eye is able to rotate independently of the other. One eye watches out for an enemy, while the other searches for food. When the prey is sighted, both eyes can work in unison, thus improving the aim of the tongue. The skin of the chameleon is unique too. Not only does it protect the animal, the amazing cell structure of the skin lets the reptile change color at a moment's notice. These baby chameleons are just a few hours old, and already they're on their own, making use of all the Creator has given them. From the tiny ball turret eyes, to the feet, the lasso tongue, and the tail. Imagine something like this happening to you when you were just a few hours old. Oh, the chameleon's okay. It's all part of this wonderful new life. No baby bottles needed here. 
When the chameleon gets hungry, he just helps himself. Even a grasshopper is a giant compared to the baby chameleon. But size is no consideration. Maybe the chameleon knows somehow that one of these days, the towering insect will be little more than a bite to eat. Everywhere in nature, we see the unmistakable evidence of the Creator's imaginative handiwork. The eating habits of animals give just one more demonstration of His design and thoughtfulness for life on Earth.